that the motivation to go and exercise or go take a group training class or whatever that may be, the, the motivation to, to move um, has been a little bit harder. And if, if I'm honest, I feel like the days where I wake up and have motivation to go exercise are far, far less the days that I wake up and I don't feel the motivation to go do it. And I know that motivation period has been a bit of a struggle for, I don't mean personally, but just a lot of things in life with this season. I, I think that, you know, for myself, I've had to get a little more creative with the environment that I'm training and with exactly what I'm doing for my exercise and with what I have. Um, but I feel like it's allowed me to get in this position of thinking um, that being more motivated or even being more goal oriented isn't necessarily the key or answer for that solution. And I feel like if I'm thinking about our pace of life, I feel that almost like our culture communicates this internal pressure um, to us about this, this striving towards this ideal or the American dream or these goals, right, of, of, of graduating college at a certain age or even going to college, right, um, marrying someone at a certain age owning a house, making a certain amount of money, um, whatever that may be. And so I think it leaves you in two camps, right? Where one, where you're so goriented, you put so much of a focus on that, that if you don't get there at a certain age, you don't accomplish that, you, you're in this position of being unfulfilled and discouraged. And then there's other camp where you do get to that position and you do achieve that and you find out that it doesn't necessarily give you the fulfillment that you thought it would. And so I'm not saying that's the case for everyone, but I'm saying that's a negative thing that can come out of that. And I think, um, the solution to that possibly could be is being more process oriented, journey oriented people instead of being more finish line oriented, goal oriented. Um, because when it comes down to it, a goal, you know, is a consequence, right? It's the result of an action. And I think if we can find a way to focus more on the process and the journey of something, a goal is going to be a natural um, process along the way right we're gonna achieve the goals that we if we find a way to enjoy and focus on, on on the process now for example with these like expectations of these timelines of achieving this or achieving that like for example you know, me and my wife uh, this past year um, in these between these two seasons of, of me not having a job me having a job when we were getting married and, and I started this business the business started picking up really fast and um, I ended up getting a position where Maybe not in comparison to a lot of people, but it was a lot of money, a lot of money for, for that we were used to. And um, we were ended up having a lot more than we thought we uh, definitely needed. And it was this position where I was in a place where I was constantly working and uh, I guess you could say hustling or grinding. And um, it almost took pride in that because I feel like it's almost like our culture can even glorify that where it's like you're always working and you're doing what you need to do and you got to do whatever you need to to get to this certain goal, this certain position. And I think that there's a really dangerous thing that can come out of that. And even though that if I were to look at that season, I feel like that I could see the potential toll, and even the toll it was taking on my mental health and my marriage, that I wasn't really focusing on the process, I was focusing on the destination, my, my goals. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to have goals. I'm just saying that something can come out of that when we become so fixated on getting to a certain place and getting to a certain place where we don't even find the opportunity to enjoy the process of life. So an example of this, even in exercise would be, um, James Clear is an author, writes this book called Atomic Habits, and he starts talking about our actions are an effort for us to almost cast a vote to the person that we want to be. And I know how that makes sense is, for example, for people who have a goal to run a marathon or a goal to uh, embark on a lifestyle of fitness and, and caring about their health. Now, um, instead of just focusing on, I want to run a marathon, focus more on becoming a runner. Because, for example, he talks about this thing called micro habits, where just focus on, you know, running 30 seconds a day, and then focus on your running one minute a day, where it becomes so exceedingly easy to complete those tasks, where it's in alignment with your identity of, of who you are, because you are a runner. Whereas if you're just focusing so much on that marathon, you run a marathon, all right, what's next? You know, you, you, you get to this position where, you know, you, you get to this, you come to this job and, and okay, well, what, what, what's next? You know, I want to, I want to make more, I want to earn more. There's more responsibilities, more pressure, more stress, more mortgage. Now, not, not saying this for everyone, but I'm saying this is something that could happen when we get so fixated on, I need to get here no matter what it takes. Now, I think sometimes that that can be very dangerous. Again, it's in our nature that I don't think that we should be running at this pace of life, that we have to do whatever it takes because then we lose sight to walk with people. I love people and serve people. Now, 
Um, now, for example, I, there's you know, euphemism to, to walk with Jesus. And uh, I think that's almost like the pace of life that uh, he's calling us to, to walk in our, in our lives. I'm not, not, again, I'm not saying that it's not appropriate to work hard uh, and work towards a goal. I'm saying what it can do to everyone around us, to the things around us, if we get so fixated and forget to, to, to walk in life and enjoy life. And, um, it makes me think of an Ecclesiastes, Solomon, who's the wisest person who ever lived, right? He asked the Lord for, for wisdom. And um, he says in this passage that it is good for a man to eat and drink and find satisfaction, find fulfillment, find enjoyment in what he has done and in his work, right? So there's good to it in the few years that we have here on earth, right? Acknowledging that this is just our temporary place, right? Uh, but knowing that it's good to find enjoyment in what we do, to find enjoyment in our daily life. And so I feel like we can almost miss that. It's a gift from God when we can enjoy our life, when we can enjoy the things that he's allowed us to experience. But I think we miss that when we become so fixated on being motivated and, and hitting our goals and, and, and doing all these things. Um, and so if I could just not necessarily again saying that a way of doing something is wrong but maybe just honoring the effort to consider things of what is your current pace of life am i am i fixated on on just doing what i need to do to get to this place of life that is causing me to miss the more important things in life because i tell you right now i think this season of life is forcing us to slow down to slow our normal pace of life um, and so how how is that having an effect on us is it is it good is it reminding us of the things in life that really matter um, because I think there's so much joy and fulfillment that can come from that when we uh, metaphorically slow it down and find ways to, to, to walk and find, find an attainable, sustainable pace that we're not burnt out and we're not, ah, you know, works work, you know what I mean? I mean, that's, that's, that sucks. <laughs> that's, 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 I want to be like that. I want to enjoy every day. I want to um, live each day to the fullest. And I know that can sound a little cheesy, but I feel like it's, it's almost assume that we have to get to this place in the pace of life where it's like that's just the way it is when I don't feel like it has to be. So I'd encourage you guys to to maybe reassess and kind of um, take a look at your current pace of life and uh, just see are, are, are you going at an effort that has maybe caused you to be so fixated on what you need to do, what you want to do, whatever it's going to take to get there that you're missing the more important things in life. Um, is it necessary maybe in the season that you're in? Or maybe it's it's time to, to, to maybe say no to some things or maybe just change the direction a little bit just by a few degrees in our life to, to enjoy the process, enjoy the fulfillment of the wonderful things that the Lord has blessed us with in life. So I want to leave you that encouragement today. Uh, God bless and have a great rest of your day.